Hi, my name is Essence Diggs, and I'm a member here at LifeBridge Church, and this is my story. Before knowing Christ, my relationship with who I thought God was was very obligatory and fear-based. I was born in Southern California and raised in a Christian megachurch and baptized as a child, and I was taught to believe that this evil demonic presence was always watching me, and unless I submitted to God, then I would be doomed to a fiery eternal damnation. I remember times where I was genuinely so terrified of the floor opening up under my bed and being swallowed into hell as I slept. Instead of seeking God as my savior, my prayers were more like desperate attempts to quell my paranoia and anxiety. I wasn't praying because I wanted to, but because I was terrified that God would be mad at me. I began to develop this obsessive fear of the supernatural and the paranormal, and I eventually had to just force myself to stop thinking about God and the devil and my soul completely. I just wanted to live my life and make choices without fearing some spiritual or supernatural consequence. I thought that if I self-harmed, then that would suffice as punishment for who I had become. I was in a very, very dark place in my early teenage years and my 20s. Although I was functional and I was showing up to school and work, no one around me would ever guess that I was a liar, a thief, suicidal, and using drugs. I was living a double life for years without anyone knowing how deeply I was struggling. I felt so far from God and real love at this time. I was constantly arguing with my mom, falling into horrible friendships and relationships, and allowing myself to be drawn deeper into Western occultism and eventually New Age spirituality. I went from a compulsory relationship with who I thought God is, to ignoring anything that had to do with God, to then believing that I was God and so was everyone around me. I had the power to tell the future through tarot or oracle cards, that I could access multiple dimensions by digesting psilocybin and mushrooms. I constantly challenged my mom's beliefs of creation, and I just felt like there was some hidden knowledge that I was meant to find. So I looked into the stars and to plant medicine to hopefully unlock some of the mysteries and secrets of the world. I finally felt safe in that I was a part of God, and somehow I independently manifested my own being. That God wasn't outside of me or even beside me, but that I was the reincarnation of God, and that who I was as essence was God birthing itself into my body to experience life through my eyes. Looking back, I can kind of laugh at the way I used to think. I have countless journals of psychedelic experiences and lunar rituals I partook in. And I don't regret these times because it's all a part of my story and it led me to where I am now. Personally, I think I got lost in worshiping the creations rather than the creator. I think that a part of me has always been looking for Christ, but I didn't know it then. Since elementary school, I've always loved volunteering and giving a part of yourself back into your community. I love stories of personal growth and transformation, and I too have used many of my own birthday wishes for things like peace and unity. But I didn't think that any of this had to do with Christ. I used to think of God as this domineering, supernaturally powerful male figure who sought out punishment and subjugation, and it scared me to be close to him, but it terrified me even more to reject him. To me, Christianity meant fear, control, and rigid conservative values that I would struggle to accept. But I began to learn that none of that was actually God. Back in January of 2022, my dentist office sent me a newsletter inviting me to something called New Start. Little did I know that these classes would transform me in a way that I would never expect. Over the course of eight weeks, Dr. Jed and his wife and life coach Alex De La Paz, alongside their staff, would provide a healthy vegan dinner and teach me about nutrition and exercise, hydration, rest, and oxygen. And the last night of the class, we discussed faith and trust in God. 
They invited me to their church and I met the most genuine, caring people that would soon become my closest friends. They were so patient with me as I asked a plethora of questions about God and the Holy Trinity and the afterlife. Coming from New Age spirituality, I kind of thought that I was above them because they were still behind following traditional religion. But LifeBridge completely changed what I considered a Christian to be. From the community service to the Bible studies and the small groups and the monthly potlucks, being a Christian felt beautiful rather than traumatizing. I could see the Holy Spirit working miracles in the church as well as my heart. I became less combative with my questions and more filled with faith. One night, I cleared away all of my New Age books and my crystals and my talismans. Everything was thrown out of my room because I just felt like the Heavenly Father was the only source of power that I truly wanted. And it was on a weekend trip that our church took to Rosario Beach that I made the decision to get rebaptized. Sitting near the water, coming to Christ feels like inhaling after holding your breath for a long time. When I acknowledge Jesus, my shoulders feel lighter, my neck feels less tight, and most importantly, I know that I'm not alone. There's many physical ways that Christ reminds me of his presence, and just to know that the King and Creator of the universe loves me and walks beside me like a friend is something that I've never felt before on my spiritual journey. I still feel confused sometimes, but once I take a moment to close my eyes and praying for the Holy Spirit, it gets so much easier. Anger turns into peace, self-sabotage turns into empowerment, confusion turns into a desire to read the Bible more and get to know how beautiful and loving our Heavenly Father is. And I can't say that I have all the answers, but I don't need them. To anyone that has had a negative experience with church, I am genuinely so sorry. It's horrible that humans can take something as delicate and beautiful as God's love and warp it according to their own agendas. But remember that they're just humans and God's going to show mercy on them too. God is greater and stronger and more divine than any human can describe. And even I can't put into words his power. But don't let people get in between you and the king. It is his desire that you live in his kingdom for eternity, long after this world has faded away. Open up your heart to Jesus and let him show you himself, how his light can illuminate you to the truth of who he is. Love, goodness, gracefulness, and mercy.